Hey guys, how are you? This is Brave and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the Zalith launcher properly. This video will be short and straight to the point. Before starting the video, if you're new on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like. First, you have to download two applications. One is Zalith launcher itself and the other is called Mobile Glues app. So download the both applications from the links. Link will be in the description or in the comment section. First, download the launcher from the GitHub link and then download the Mobile Glues app from the GitHub link. After downloading both, you have to open the Mobile Glues application. As you can see, I've downloaded and installed it. So just open it. So now you have to click on here, like Modify Renderer Settings. Click on the Modify Renderer Settings here. And then you have to click on OK. And then this will open your file manager here. In the file manager, you have to create a folder. So click on the Create New Folder and name it the MG. Just MG all in uppercase. Now click on the OK. And here you have to click on the Use This Folder. So just click on it and allow it, whatever it is demanding, just allow it. And now you have to here set the 32 to 30. And then you have to click on the use angle as OpenGL ES driver to enable. And yes, your work here is done. And yeah, just close this app now. Now you have to go to the Zalith launcher. So click on the app and open the Zalith launcher. Now here you have to install a version first. As you can see, I have not downloaded any version yet. So just click on the no version installed here in your screen, you can see, just click on it. Then go to the install new version. And here you have to download any version, like you can download any version you want. I will be downloading the 1.21.4 here. And now here you have to click on the fabric. I will go with the 0.16.14. So just click on it. And now you have to click on the download button. You will see on the right side of the screen, just click on it. And now it will start downloading the game version. So you have to wait here. It depends on your internal connection. So I will be waiting. As you can see here, our game has been downloaded. So now you have to add an account. So click on add account. And now you have to click on the offline account and you can name the account whatever you want. So I'll be naming it Brave. And yeah, I will click on the next and then click on the login. So it is like logged in here. As you can see, just click on return and your account will be logged in here. Now you have to do some settings here, okay? So to do settings, you have to click on the setting button. You will see on the top right corner, click on it. And then you have to go to the video settings. And then you have to click here on the renderer. So in the render, just click on the render and you will see the mobile glues renderer that we set up before on the mobile glues app. So you will see it like at the bottom, like below all the renderers here. So as you can see, we have mobile glues here, just click on it. And now you have to select mobile glues as you can see it has been selected now go back and you will see resolution so in resolution scaling you have to set the resolution lower as possible so i will be setting it like here here like 1270 and 560. now click on the enable sustained performance mode and enable it so yeah these were the settings here now go to the control settings and you can set the settings here like you want. So I will not I will not mess anything up here. So yeah, in game settings, you can also set the setting that you want. These are the like default settings and they will be good. Now I will go back to the home and I will launch my game. Just click on launch and just click on confirm. As you can see here, we are here in the game. Just click on the single player and create a world. And you can see we are here in the game and we are getting like a hundred FPS. I mean, this is crazy. As you can see, we are getting like 54 FPS now, 72, 109, 
and 96. So these are like stable FPS, as you can see. So I hope you all get the same FPS. And yeah, this was today's video. See you in the next video. Till then, have a nice day. Take care and don't forget to subscribe.